at this no. moment in time, it is 1.13, which makes it 10.13 a.m. What could possibly be on TV that is so important right now? Major League Baseball. Oh. Major League Baseball. Let, so let's That's what you do there. every day in your office. Let's start there. It's Today is Wednesday, August 7. Last night, the Chicago White Sox, they ended a 21-game losing streak. Everybody – so this was a weird thing during that losing streak. It's like we always needed the other team. Everybody would bet the White Sox, including last night. We had a guy bet like a little bit over 15,000 on the White Sox at plus 180. They win. We got crushed on that game. I did not have that much on the White Sox last you night. Bet, but I, why, why was everybody betting the White Sox? The, the, price, the, the feeling was the price was way too high? All I know is that I got a text that someone that we like to fade – was on the other side, and I said, okay, fine, I'll bet the White Sox. I go, haven't they lost, like, 20 games in a row? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, can't wait to lose. And then I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was like, huh, they won. It was cool. I enjoyed it. Yeah, they won. So we didn't Ever really since I put well. my money tree outside and stopped letting it die in my uh, office, I've, I've just been winning bets. It's been great. Well, so you're, all it was was you were fading a guy who bet against the White Sox. Be careful with that because if you're betting against the White Sox, you've done pretty well the last month. Uh, he just bet against them last night. He didn't bet against them. And he, I don't know. I, I don't really follow all of it too much, but I have a group of friends who are, you know, locked and loaded and just – I mean, the, the guy's – He's an anomaly. Let's just put it this way. He DM'd me and I was like, hey, I'll see you in New York in a couple weeks with the picket guys. And he was like, Kelly, is it mathematically possible to be this bad? And I said, no, you you actually are uh, – you're an anomaly at this point in time. All right. Well, it's going to regress to the mean. I mean, in the Probably. end, everybody, everybody just kind of like they win, they lose for the most part. Speaking of the White Sox, I had lunch with Sammy Paniatovich yesterday. Me and Sam, we, knocked, we locked it down. We had lunch at the Westgate yesterday. We're going to do a show every Friday this season. Oh, good. So you and I are going to do a show. So on, you're going to give our audience right. your winning NFL picks before Sammy this year? Right. So that, that's what I want to talk about. because we're Wow. We're we should feel our, so happy, Kelly and Murray audience. Can I talk now? So we're, <laughs> we're going to do the show Thursdays, right? Is that correct? That's set in stone? Yes. Thursday afternoons. And then me and Sam are going to do the show Friday. So what should I do exactly? What do you What do you want from me? I don't want anything. But I want you to give our audience your best bets, your sharp yeah. plays. Oh, yeah. There's a There's a couple of questions about it uh, in the mailbag. I actually did open the mailbag before the show today. Uh, Good for you. Shocking, right? I, yeah. I came prepared. Uh, but I, I just think you, you don't do anything different other than our audience gets um, – graced by your winning picks a day earlier you, than Sammy does. Why? But, but then that spoils the whole show for Sam. I thought he was our mutual friend. He is our mutual friend, but I don't think the audiences always cross over. You can only absorb so much content. Right. Like, like there is only so many hours of the day. Right. So, so I don't, I don't know how much crossover we have. And the content is such bullshit. It sucks so bad, you know, doesn't it? I mean, let's be honest. The content is so bad. I mean, as somebody who does a weekly show with you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Last Thursday night, the Hall of Fame game was played. Uh, so let's talk about that briefly. The Bears, I don't even know who was ahead. The bottom line is that they stopped the game due to the weather. The Bears were winning. The Bears were the winning. The Texans were losing. So they stopped the game in the third quarter. Is that right? I'm not sure what time they actually stopped it, but... Let's just put it this way. The Twitter X universe was up in arms because, but, so that, shocker, nobody knows wanna, the house rules where they that's bet. That's what I want to talk about. You, you want to talk about a standard rule. Yeah, it's pretty – that's industry are, standard. There are some things where different books have different rules, and I get that, especially when it comes to futures, stuff like that. Yeah, like but, one of my lacrosse picks last weekend, there was – there were some books that graded it a win and some books that graded it a loss. Well, I would imagine that there's different rules. Or not a loss, cost. but a, That's a, a pretty push. small sport. NFL, 55 minutes for action. You want to talk about one of the most basic rules in sports betting. And it happens in college football pretty much every year. There will be a blowout, and they'll do like a running clock in the second half early in the season. Or they'll play two 10-minute quarters. 
55 minutes for action on football is like, that's about as basic as it gets. Do you think that's ever gonna change? I mean, it seems really excessive that 55 out of 65, 60 minutes have to be played, right? Like, so we're what talking- would you, what would you suggest? Well, I don't know, I guess, I, I don't good. necessarily that's have- That's a good an, suggestion. I don't have a suggestion, but I'm wondering if, if like, especially, that was a dead over game. Had it even gone over? It went over like by almost halftime. I stopped watching at halftime because we won the first half over. I exactly. Okay. I don't uh, even know. I, okay, so here, I don't know if it's 45 minutes, if that's going to make people happier, three quarters of the game. But then, no, if people will just find a way to bitch then, too. I just, I don't know where you guys decided that 55 minutes and this became that the industry standard a, like 40 years that ago. That was the rule when I started working here as a ticket writer. I yeah, mean, I know. It's been around forever. You want to talk about a basic rule. 55 minutes for action. Know the rules, man. You know, know your rules. Now, if you had the over and it went over, that sucks. That does yeah, suck. I mean, but that If you had the Texans, like I saw so many Twitter touts give out, just be happy that you, you got to get away. gambling, though. I mean, that, that, that is un, that's unfortunate, but when you bet on an event as stupid as the Hall of Fame game, Something like we that. bet on that event literally before we logged in to do the show. You said, Hey, uh, we just saw a sharp group bet the first half over. So I logged in and it was 17 and a half. I was like, Can't bet that. Then I found a 17 middle of the show. Yeah, I mean, I bet the over. So, so to be clear, you, like, you sound like I, a hypocrite asking why people were betting the game. I bet it myself. Yeah, me too. And like, and I think that people that like spend all this time watching the NFL are mostly idiots. <laughs> I'm including myself. I mean, I that. I'm Are you worried. really not excited? After just what a shit show it's been since like March Madness, you're not excited for NFL to be back. Oh, not even a little bit. I could care less. I am not even a little bit. For all I the all the contests, all the entertainment, all the fun stuff what coming up. All right. Never I'm, mind. Well, no, I'm never mind. About, never like, mind. I get it. You hate the refs. Okay, but you're excited for college football? College football, English Premier League starts too. Oh, okay, yeah. So I got anyway. I'll, I got some notes on English Premier League. We put up the English Premier League point totals for the season yesterday. Oh, and wonderful. college football. I bet, I bet people were lining up to bet those. Oh, we get some really sharp action on that stuff. Mm -hmm. You gonna share it with us? I am. So what do you want what do you want me to do here? Christ, okay, I, can't I can't believe can't I have either, to bet English Premier League. <laughs> what do, what I do we can got? Either, I can either complain about how bad we did on the UFC on Saturday. No, I want the sharp plays from the English Premier League. We want that first? Yeah. Okay. So we did, we put up the EPL point totals yesterday, August 6th. I'll give you guys two. Uh, West Ham, the Hammers, under 47 and a half. That's points for the season. That one's, you know what's funny about that one? I really liked, <laughs> I really liked the moves that West Ham made this offseason. I thought they were going to be much improved. And then we put out these numbers and immediately, Immediately, you were wrong. Guys so, so you're just going to admit right now that you were wrong. Yeah. Okay, got and it. then <laughs> I just thought that was funny. And then they bet Manchester United under 62 and a half. Manchester United, a very, very low energy outfit. Very yes, low you energy. hate them because you're a Liverpool fan. Okay, so and then we have wait, wait, wait. Point total under 60. What? It's not win total. Hold on a second. It's point total. That's a big difference. Point total. Because okay. you get points for wins and points for a draw. So it's not win total. Point total. It's the okay, so it's not how many points they're going to score in a season, which is if you ask me what a point total was. It's, but it's no different than NHL. What do they do in NHL? Point total. Because you get points for ties. Got Same it. Thing. Okay. So think, think of it like the NHL. 62.5 points under Manchester United, 47.5 under West Ham, the Hammers. And then, you know, I got to say um, – Really, really terrible work by our risk team. They did a terrible job. They put up Liverpool 73 and a half. Liverpool, we, had, we had 82 points last year with all the injuries under the sun, and we put up 73 and a half. Terrible job by the risk guys. Really. So we should have a friendly, we should have a friend bet on that one. You think they're going to go over 73 and a half? Oh, of course they will. They're Liverpool, man. Okay, absolutely. so you think over 73 and a half for Liverpool. Oh, I'll take the under that I know nothing about. Yeah. And I'll let the audience decide what the the wager is going to be. I want to know who on on my risk team, my coworkers, wants to bet me on that. 
They have my phone number. They can call me anytime. I'm not going to bet you on it, but we're going to have a friend bet. I'm going to take the... Bet? Oh, I want to bet. I don't know anything about it. I love the Reds. I think they're going to have of way more than do. 73 and a half points. I'm, I bet uh, another book in this city had Manchester City to win the Premier League plus 138. I think that's a good bet. City will win the Premier League again. They always do. They're a bunch of cheats. And they will win the Premier League, but... I'll, oh, I'll take, of course. They, they oh, don't win it fair and square. Got it. They are John a bunch of cheats. I'll take Liverpool over 73 and a half. Not good. Not good job, guys. Very, very poor. Very poor. Okay, look, I got it right here. <laughs> uh, How cute is this little notebook? If you guys didn't know, I love little, like, stupid. I don't know. Don't mind me. Office supplies. I'm, I'm a weirdo. I, I'm an office supply you're junkie. You're, you're weird. We did. So here's something you're going to like to hear this. We didn't share the UFC bets with you last Saturday. Of course not. They, they went undefeated. We got crushed. Oh, good. Oh, we good. That's got, your karma. We got absolutely blown out. We got crushed. We didn't give them to you. So there you go. Thank I, I you. Think missing out on a loser is better than winning. Yeah, it definitely is because I would have been pissed. We did terrible, man. We got good. absolutely killed. And then big boxing event on Saturday night. Terrence Crawford won. He won as a big favorite, but I think what we learned on Saturday is you got to be careful jumping up in weight classes. I know he wants to fight Canelo Alvarez, but when I saw Saturday night, he ha he shouldn't be doing that. That's too far. He moved up in weight and fought a good fighter. No Canelo Alvarez, but he fought a good fighter. Some people thought he lost. I thought he won a close decision. They gave him the decision. He needs to be careful. You know, Canelo moved up too far. He, he fought Dimitri Bilbao a couple years ago. He got his ass kicked. I was at that fight. And you, th they have weight classes in boxing for a reason, Terrence Crawford. You can't go too far, man. Yeah. I mean, what are we talking, though? Like, you can go up maybe well, A class or you can go down a class. but Well, Crawford would have to go up a couple of classes. To that's what Canelo. I mean. If you're going up a he's couple already, of classes. He's already gone up a couple of classes to get to where he is. He's really – he was fighting most of his career at 140 pounds. So oh. he – He's moving up quite a bit. The only guy that can just move up and wait, and it doesn't matter, is Usyk, the incredible fighting man who moved yeah, up. Yeah, you guys love it, him. I love that guy. That guy, that guy is the best. The, they mention this man at least once yeah, a week in the, the group chat, and it's like a lot of, I don't understand half the time, but it's what? just. He's just funny. He's, why Usyk is he is funny? Best. What, I can't you don't ever, there's never, okay, so here's the problem with inside jokes. If I don't understand the context, it can't be funny. So if you guys would like elaborate, like, why is this guy funny? Does he say something? Does it translate funny? Like, what's. It's funny to me. And so Louis D'Onofrio, our producer, he's a big boxing guy. John Hoagland, our other producer, does not like boxing. He's one of those. He's one of those MMA elitists that thumb their nose at boxing. Like, I, I have other friends that are boxing elitists that thumb their nose at MMA. Oh, Andy, yeah. And I, no, I love both. I love I like them both. I think I can do boxing more. Like, I can watch it more because it's not as violent as UFC. Like, I was at the hair salon this morning, and um, mm -hmm. one of the girls that – works at the salon is like 23 she also works at a bar so she always sees us out for the ufc fights as well and she's like it's funny because you're always like oh, oh like like there's a point sometimes where it's too violent for me to watch the ufc whereas boxing i don't think is it there's i think there's a lot more script to it not saying that the ufc doesn't have your coach is going to tell you what to do like if you're going to beat the guy on the ground you're going to beat the guy standing up yeah. But eventually those instincts take over where you can just wail on somebody and well, you see boxing, it happen you, versus boxing. You can't start kicking the guy because you're getting punched in the face. If you knock down your opponent, they stop the fight and right. give you 10 seconds to get up. In yeah, UFC, get your ass too, up. Come on, like get it together. Yeah. Whereas in UFC, then they just jump on top of you and just start pummeling your ass until the guy's like, okay, he's unconscious. Get get off. And it's like, well, plus it's a little can, bit more jarring for UFC, me. They'll they'll open up a huge gash with a big elbow yeah because your elbows are sharp you know and it, it might open up a big cut and you they just let you that. bleed all over the mat even if there's still more fights to come i went it's to kind of like, gross 10 years ago i went to at the cosmo Paige van zant who's now like an only fans girl 
against Rose Namahunas. Well, what, else, what else are you going to do a- after UFC? I'm not judging. Uh, against Rose Namahunas, Thug yeah. Rose. Rose, yeah. And I met Rose. Very nice. She was very – I met her at the uh, Apex. Rose beat the shit out of her for five yeah. rounds, and she was covered in blood. It was uncomfortable, honestly. It was not pleasant to watch. But I, I like them both. We we really did not do well. Apparently, she's now doing the power slap. Pages, not Rose. Mm. Pages. We yeah, I don't, do think well. I, I, I don't think I can. Ugh, oof. What are, I are we still can... talking about? What are you talking about? Not only fans. <laughs> Power slap, I don't understand. So I don't like. I love Dana White. You know, you know, I love Dana White. Yeah, uh, he's, is he just genius. trying to capitalize? But I think power slap is like. I know, like Dana White hates hearing people say this. I think it's like beyond dumb. I don't. But know, people don't. are like getting knocked out from getting slapped. Well, you wouldn't want to stand there and let some huge. Like I wouldn't want to stand there and let a guy my size slap me in the face as hard as he could, and I can't even put my hands up. That sounds terrible. But I think it like proves how tough you are. If you can take that, like it, like some of those guys that are like 300 pounds get knocked out from a slap. That's yeah. crazy. I'm not that tough. I don't want another man slapping me in the face. That sounds terrible. I'm not that tough anymore either. I got when I got hurt in Italy. I was texting my doctor, and he goes, "Man, if you're complaining this much, he's like, I'm actually worried. Like maybe you do need an MRI." And I'm like. No, I'm a wuss now. Pain tolerance low. Like I live a cushy lifestyle. I, I will take five Advil and go take a nap. I don't think I need an MRI. You live a very cushy lifestyle. Do you want to do? All right. So I've got. I wrote down a few things for the NFL. But do you want to go? Do you have UFC winners? Yes or no? No, we got nothing on the card this week. Honestly, we don't. I'm not even. I'm not even holding. I'm not even holding it back from you to be a dick like usual. We we don't we don't have well, anything. Listen, Sarah, you can got, hold it back from me, but I hope you wouldn't hold it back from our beloved audience. I love the audience. Okay, um, I've got four NFL preseason plays. Okay, but, you know, here's a problem with this stuff. This stuff moves, it moves a lot. Yeah. So, do you want? What do you want to do? Do you want to go through that, or do you want to tell us about your upcoming travel plans? I think the listeners care more <laughs> about that than NFL picks, right? Okay, so. Uh, we'll go through it really quickly, as quickly as I can. Stupid this weekend, question. John Murray is going to Del Mar. That's why we're doing the show a day early. Yeah, we are. So I'm very excited for him. He's going to enjoy that with some of mm-hmm. his good old buddies. And I'm going to Denver for the Premier Lacrosse League. No, I don't have my plays out yet. Yes, I will try to have the video up tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but I've got, I've got uh, you know, some things to work through. But I will try to have that. So if you guys are in Denver... And you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, the Premier Lacrosse League, homecoming. Very excited uh, for my first lacrosse event. Next week, going to Vegas. Mm. We're going to have a live show on Thursday. Mm. On Saturday, me, Louie, Eric Osterman, and JH are going to win the West Gates tournament at the golf course at the Las Vegas Country Club. Are you going to – Las Vegas Country Club, that's why I wore this shirt. Are you going to feel bad if – so you're playing with Eric Osterman. I just Eric, found out we needed a Eric fourth. Like, Eric's awesome at golf. Are you okay. gonna ha- are you gonna have any guilt if Eric does all the work and you don't do shit and you still win? Are you gonna feel bad? Like no, Eric did I'm just going to drink an insane amount of Vivas. Chris right. said he sent an entire pallet of Vivas to your house, and so that's gonna be have, my I job. I already have a whole bunch of them. You said you drank all the elderberry. I did. Okay, well, need, he's sending you some more. Well, I don't anyway. need any of the other flavors. I've already got tons of well, them. Don't worry. I'll drink all the grapefruit. I'll It'll be fine. So we're going to stop by your house. We're going to say hi to Mario. We're going to say hi to Ellie. We're going to refill our cooler. And I'm going to hit at least one or two putts for my team. I may have like a second or third shot that just happens to be straighter than theirs. I'm going to contribute. And then the next week, I'm going to New York. See my good friend Ariel Epstein with the picket guys. We're going to Yankee Stadium. I will be the asshole on my phone watching college football at the baseball game. It's going to be great. I love New York City. Everybody knows this. It's week zero. Who cares? Exactly. That's why I agree. Uh, Let me tell you this. One concern about Super Contest Golf Tournament. I played golf at LBCC on Sunday. It was hot. Yeah. It's hot every single year. It was hot. We should have Super Contest Weekend. Like in January, <laughs> like you know, for, it should be like up. kicking off the next season's super you know, you, contest. 
you always name drop. That's like a big thing with you. You just name drop Ariel Epstein. Um, I played golf on Sunday with, with Brett Okamoto. Oh. And, and actually his son, Cam Okamoto, joined us as well. It was very fun. But my question is... Is he old enough to play golf? He was out there. So Taking a swing a, or... <laughs> who's, a, who's a bigger star, you or Brett? I think Brett is more famous than you. Brett probably definitely is. You think so? I was. That was my favorite thing in Italy. Like when we would post on like Instagram or something, and then like people would be like, we didn't know you were there, you know, whatever. And everywhere we went, I just started telling the Italian guys that Ariel was famous. She was getting so annoyed. It was great. I was like, yeah, she's famous. And like, Ariel they is, were all about it. Ariel is famous. She's on MLB I, TV. I watch, her sh- I watch her show on MLB Network. Exactly. I, you know what? You guys, here's where you I'm guys I'm not on really, TV. What? I say mean things on the internet. I don't get to be on TV. Look, here's where you guys drop the ball, you and her. You guys, you were in Italy for how long? Ten days. Ten days. You couldn't find one big, dumb, handsome, idiot Italian guy to hang out with Ariel? Are you kidding me? That's impossible. I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. Okay. I don't know if I saw one big, dumb, attractive Italian guy the whole time I was there. Dude, I was in Rome and... I saw all kinds of attractive Italian men and women. They're, they're beautiful girls everywhere I looked. And Listen, like, I like big muscles. I don't like skinny jeans. I like big, strong, dumb American men. And right. yeah, you do. There wasn't any in Italy. They're all svelte and lean, but, but, and they wear their hair like a certain way. Yeah. And they're really probably a pretty guy to most women, but like, I, it's not my vibe. But we were looking for a guy for Ariel, not for you. You have Brett. What about her? That's my point. Just the same thing with the food. I get the food in I can get the food in America. There's plenty of Italians here you, in America that cook the food the same. Big fail. Big fail. I hope you have fun in Denver. Where can you bet on the premier? What is it called? Premier Lacoste? Yeah, you can bet on a couple of the different books, okay. uh, legal books. Do you books. want me to have do you want me to have one of my guys start doing that? I mean, i you know that. After this EPL, you're not going to want it, John Murray. It's so funny. So Dan Newbert, who is one of my producers at Wager Talk, was like, "Hey, Cal, the Premier Lacrosse League. You've got the summer off. Do you want to do some stuff with them?" And I'm like, "You're going to teach me how to handicap the sport. I've never watched lacrosse." And he played college lacrosse, and I think even maybe semi pro lacrosse. Anyway, he's been doing some stuff for them, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll share my notes with you. I'll help you out, whatever." So I started kind of just doing it on my own. He shares his notes. I've been watching the games. And I've just been three and one, like every single week, except for the one week I went two and two. And then I even hit two big outrights during All-Star Weekend. And it's really funny because he's getting frustrated. He's like, why are you better at this than me? And I go, because it's like that think wrong, think, think long, think wrong thing. I don't know enough about the sport historically. You do. So the teams that barely pass the eye test for me are probably going to get a nod from me here or there. Plus, there's some small sample sizes. The league's only been around since 2021. So I'm taking, I'm kind of cherry picking these small sample sizes and, and going with it. It has been really good. But what so, about yes, my you question? should. So I can bet it when I'm there next week and make some money at the Westgate. Thank you. But okay. So you want, that was your an unbelievably long winded way of saying that you want us to, who do you want me to put? I'm pissed at the risk guys. You know, they really, well, I think the playoffs are starting here in the next couple of weeks. So there's going to be some. There was a couple trades yesterday. I got to double check when the trade deadline is. Uh, but th- there's some moving and shaking, but there's already been two teams eliminated from the playoffs. And I kind of just think they're probably going to tank. So maybe next year you guys start offering it at the. What, uh, when does their season start? June. Um, no, it starts in June. Okay. Well, we don't have a lot going on in June. That's so. what I mean. Which is why I said yes. I was like, why not? Yeah. Let's try this. And yeah, it's been yeah. really okay. fun. That, the that only complaint like I have. Is that you cannot get very much down. That feels like a job for Chase. Oh, that's Chase. great. I actually DM Chase. He has not written me back about our new Saturday and Sunday show yet. But okay. Arthur DeCesar and Andrew Babakitis on it. Shocker. Is you know, he Chase, still like got, on his like engagement honeymoon thing? You got to remember with Chase. He's like, so there's 12 months in a year. I'd say five of the months out of the year, Chase is either on vacation somewhere or he's trying to get back from his vacation like he missed his flight or or his flight got canceled i don't know how he still has a job he only works maybe six or seven months a year and then it's like the rest of it is just like planes trains and automobiles so he's like ed 
What? So he's like Ed. Ed works 366 days a year. When Ed is, when I'm Ed's teasing. On, when he's on vacation, he's logged into his laptop, moving, uh, just doing nonsense. I know. I wish he would go on vacation. I, you have alone. expressed that many times, like Ed, aren't you supposed to be on vacation? <laughs> well, somebody was on vacation when they did those EPL point totals. What an absolute hack job, terrible job, but hatchet job. All right, give me the pre NFL preseason. Okay, so now we got to talk about the contests. Stuff, the, pro the problem is the stuff moves a lot. Okay, but no. I'll give you a couple. One of them's tonight. New England minus five against Carolina. We'll see what happens. But these are two pretty interesting teams. I mean, these teams might be possibly the two worst teams in the league. I mean, probably. Yeah, they both have young quarterbacks. You got another one. I, don't, I think this is on Saturday. Raiders minus two and a half at Minnesota. Minnesota, they got a rookie quarterback too. They look like they're rebuilding. I don't really understand what the Raiders' plan is at quarterback. I guess Gardner Minshew is going to be their quarterback, I guess. I got a whole uh, okay. list here. Now I'm generally curious. Two teams that have a pretty secure quarterback situation. Cincinnati minus three and a half. They are playing the Buccaneers. And the last one is Denver. Kelly's Denver Broncos. Plus one and a half at Indianapolis. You know I like the Colts a lot this year. I've talked Same. About that. I really like that. I like that coach a lot. If you, you remember that game? It was on a Saturday night in Week 18. It was for the division, and he had he had a masterful play call drive. He was going to score a touchdown and leave Houston with no time left, and they botched the play. The players did. They had a really good play call. They botched the play. Otherwise, Indianapolis would have made the playoffs last year without Richardson. I know. And now Richardson's back, and they get they got Joe my, Flacco. Joe Flacco here's my question back. about Richardson. We had a lot of hype. You and I both hyped him a lot coming I out like of him. Florida. I liked him, too. I bet them week one. He puts his entire life on the line. They end up losing the game. But the Colts still overall had a very solid team, as you mentioned. I, very look, well coached team. Very, I think the reason – so part of the reason why I bet against the Eagles last year was because the Eagles lost so much of their coaching staff. Mm -hmm. I like Shane a lot. But you I – You lose I, your – a good way to judge these coaches is to look what happens when they leave. And I think it's, that's totally what I think. Jalen Hurts was an MVP candidate in 2022. They made it to the Super Bowl. They would have won the Super Bowl. If Kansas City didn't give Pat Mahomes whatever it is they gave him at halftime in Phoenix that night, I don't want to know. Actually, I do want to know. I want to know what do they Do you? Gave. I want to try it. But they, you want to try it? They, they juiced up Mahomes. He comes back. They win the Super Bowl. The Eagles lose. Their D.C. goes to Arizona. Their O.C. goes to Indianapolis. They pretty much had the same roster. Do you think eventually that kind of shit like wears off? I mean, they like did it to Joe Biden for like three and a half years and eventually it just stopped working. Like, I wonder if they just keep juicing up Patrick, like if eventually it's just going to like his body is going to develop like an antibody. It's like Botox and why my forehead doesn't hold the Botox as well. Because the doctor's like, yeah, because you get Botox. So your body starts like realizing that this foreign substance is going to be there. And so it builds up antibodies. So then you have to get more. Let's see how quickly I can change the topic. New England minus five, Raiders minus two and a half, Bengals minus three and a half, Denver plus one and a half. And I understand that they move. It's the preseason, guys. The numbers move fast. It, the preseason is an incredibly sharp market. Incredibly sharp market. The wise guys feast NFL preseason. The other thing I'm looking forward to this weekend, Saturday is the women's soccer gold medal game. The United States, we have them minus 240 to lift the gold, or not lift, to win the gold medal against Brazil. Brazil, so Spain was the favorite, and Spain won the last Women's World Cup. They lost to Brazil yesterday in the semifinals. So now the path is clear for our girls to bring home the gold medal. Kelly, what do you think of that? How exciting. I have watched exciting. about 0.7 seconds of the... Uh, the Olympics. Well, I can't watch. So I don't really watch the men's basketball because it's just, you know, the USA is going to win. And the women's basketball is just ridiculous. I mean, we had we had them to win the gold medal. Do you, th minus. do you think that they've realized that maybe they should have had Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark on the team? I mean. Of course they should. From an so eyeball. They, I, I don't even know what time the game's on. I haven't heard anything about it. There's no nobody talk. Like, because we went not, from talking about these two in WNBA season before I went to Italy. I go to Italy. I haven't heard Either of their names in weeks. 
women's Olympic basketball is not a competitive event. We had the women's the United States women's team to win the gold at minus 5,000. They're going to win the gold. They could bring any 12 girls they want. They're going to win the gold. So, of course, they should have brought Clark and Reese, the only two girls that anybody cares about watching. I, that's that was a that was even worse. That was an even worse job than our risk guys Liverpool number. That was even worse than that. Uh, okay. The men's team is minus eight hundred to win the gold. I think they play Serbia in the semifinals. I feel like the men's team is old though. You know, it's like a I mean, of, most of them are as old as we are. So yes, it's, they're old. It's like LeBron, you know, LeBron and Curry and Durant. It's just they just feel like they're old. I think they'll win the gold, obviously, but. And they actually really... try. That's the thing with the men's team. Like, I feel like they just pussyfoot around and just just don't really care until it's like, oh, shit, we're going to lose to South Sudan. We better pick it up. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right? Like, I don't know. And then I'll update one more thing here. The Cleveland Guardians are minus 210 right now to win the American League Central. I'm going to win my win total bet. I, the only question is, am I going to win it before August is over? Ooh. I don't know, maybe. So the, I have the win total bet, and then I think I have plus 340 for them to win the division. That's really good. Yeah. That's really, that's really Pretty really happy. Good. Thanks, John Murray. You're the best. And what else do you have? I mean, I was just going to go through. We got to talk about three contests. Well, I was going to do, I thought we would do the mailbag first, and then oh. we would and then we would wrap it up with the contest stuff. But it's up to you. You're the star of the show. I'm the, I'm the secondary. Well, we guy. always do the mailbag last, so we're going to do the mailbag last. All right. Okay. Splash, I'm now allowed to finally say pick them. I think they got some verbiage from legal that says, okay, fine. There's no difference between pick X, obviously. And what does pick X mean? I think there's a difference because pick X isn't a thing. No, pick pick X number of games. Oh, pick X number of games. Yeah, oh, so is, like, okay, I'm up. anyway, oh, pick five. So I, yes, but I'm doing pick seven against the spread college football for a nickel. And there haven't been that many people who have signed up. But not everybody is a degenerate like you. Nickel means $500. So not that many people have signed up. So I'm getting a little like, hey, wait a minute. Are we, is it because it's early August? Is it because I made it too high? Because selfishly, I wanted to do a higher college football contest, right? Like we've seen a couple of la around Las Vegas throughout the years, but nothing that had like significant payouts. So I was like, okay, I want the payout to be a hundred grand at the least. Like I want this to be awesome. I mean, I've won tons of college football leagues, like on office football pool or run your pool over those years. Yeah. But none, I mean, you got to get two or 300 people in. And again, not everybody wants to pay $500. And then if you didn't live in Vegas, you had to pay to fly to Vegas, stay to Vegas, hire a proxy to do these contests. So I was like, okay, I want a pick em league. Uh, 10 games is too many. Five is too little. So it's seven games against the spread. The games are going to probably lock on Tuesday when the schedule and the lines all come out. No FCS, no totals. But we are doing Mountain West, ACC, and then the Power Four conferences. The other do you think there's going to be a lot of line moves from Tuesday to Saturday? When do you have to submit your plays by? Saturday before kickoff. I mean, you're going to get a lot of these guys that just play all the moves. And that's and that's fine. They can play whatever moves they want. Okay. But I I am of the mindset of whatever the lines are at X time is is what we're doing. I think it makes a lot more sense to just keep it that way, right? And then each week you're going to get a best bet that's worth two times the amount of points. And then whoever has the most points at the end wins. But we're also going to do um, – some prize payouts along the way as far as sections go. So that'll be prize nice. Payouts. What do you mean yeah. by that? What is that? Kind of like how the Westgate does it. We're going to have it's not a surprise. It's an in season contest. Yeah. So we're going to have three we're not segments. Blindsided by it. No, we're going to have three segments. There's 15 games, right? There's 14 weeks of college football and then conference championships. So you're going to get five weeks, five weeks, five weeks. So three segment of payouts. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, it does. So it does. anyway, the idea so, is I'm playing. I want you guys to play against me, but I may do a hundred dollar one. I know a lot of people on X yesterday were saying do two fifty. A lot of people were saying do a hundred. I may have overestimated uh, how many people like to throw around five hundred dollars on college football like I do. 
the Leroy's college football contest that was around for years in town was 250. And they usually get like 400 ish people. And then William Hill did one, which I think they discontinued. Yeah. That was a thousand. And I got into it a couple of times because it was such a big overlay. Yeah, but I hated it because they only did so hated many games. It's such a big so, word, Kelly. Yeah, but it was annoying. I'm like, cool. I love South Florida this week, and they wouldn't have them on the list. Or I yeah. loved Tulsa or another team that, like, I was like, okay, this is too many points against the University of Texas, and they wouldn't have it on there. Like, so I, I wanted really, to have. I did really bad in that contest. Like I, even though it was an it was an overlay, which and it's too it's it. too many games. Ten that games is, so is too many games. So I don't love ten games in college football very often. Tell them about Splash Sports. Also, is putting on our Kelly yes. Murray Show Survivor Contest. Go to splashsports.com backslash Kelly in Vegas. Do not use John Murray's code, please. I don't want him to get any credit for it. Um, <laughs> I retweeted your code. You be quiet. I got bills to pay, man. I got, I got, you know how much food Mario eats? Mario. Yeah. yeah. All little Mario. Yeah, you really guys, cute, you're a mess. Okay. Okay. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Do, the thing. Do, the, do the reading. I don't have a reading. Well, we really? are doing, you and I you're are not, doing you're not, a. You're not going off a teleprompter? What are you looking at? Anyway, I'm going to open up the Kelly and Murray College Football Survivor Challenge. $100,000. We're doing $100 an entry for this one. You can have a ton of entries. I think it's 33 that you're able to have. So, you know. One of my buddies, I had a buddy from high school was like, hey, I was hoping to do 35 entries. What the hell? (laughs) But the kid said, man, I don't know. All right, go ahead. Uh, Okay. So, this is also going to include conference championship so it's that 15 weeks starting week one all you got to do is pick the winner but i'll give you guys a little bit of uh strategery here you're gonna want to save at least one team for the big 12 championship the acc championship the big 10 championship the mountain west championship like try to save a couple of these guys because you're going to need them uh before bowl season starts so all you're going to do is just pick the winner and whoever is left standing Gets the money. Gets the money. That sounds like fun. I, lo- I love Survivor contests. I like Survivor better than the Pick X because it's when called I lose, Pick 'em. They're allowed to say Pick 'em now. Because when I lose, it's just over. I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's like, oh, oh well. There's always next season. Listen, uh, I'm not gonna have an 0 and 7 week. Like, I might have a 1 and 6 week, which is really gonna suck. But I'm not gonna have an 0 and 7 week. I might have a 6 and 1 week. Probably not gonna have a 7 and 0 week. We'll see. Kelly's coming out here next week to. I mean, really, you're coming out here to just see a bunch of people and party, right? But then no, the, the, the fake story out is to, you're coming out here to promote the Super Contest. I'm coming out to the Westgate to have yeah. some nice dinners, to see some of my friends, yeah. and to do a live show with you, to play golf, and then to get the hell out. Super Contest, we're at about 230 entries right now, about 20 in the gold. Super Contest Golf Tournament is the 17th at LVCC. I want to know, is Kelly going to feel guilty if Eric, if Eric Osterman is a terrific golfer, if he carries her to victory and she doesn't do anything, does she still feel like a winner? I mean, how? No, I, no. You're I, ridiculous. I, I already I told you. No. I'm going to contribute to my team that at is some next point next Saturday, the 17th of August. And then... College football starts on the 24th, and then summer's over, dude. Summer's over. Summer's already been over. That's okay. Mailbag. The pint glass guy on X with the news of John Murray's brother having a baby. Can we get another baby bankroll bonanza going, just like JM and Doug Kazarian from the good old days? Yeah. So me and Doug, Dougie Kazarian and I, we used to do a show on ESPN. What was that show called? Behind the Bets, maybe? I don't remember. We did it for a few years, but we would – at the end of each show, we would have to make our picks for the week, and we had a bankroll, a fake bankroll to work with. And whoever won, the loser would have to contribute to, like, a child's... Um, but you guys don't have children. Show. Well, he had... Over the years, like, he had a niece. I had Caroline oh, okay. was born. You have family children. Yeah. Got it. Well, no, you know how it started? The first year, our producer, Kai, his wife was pregnant. Okay, got it. And it was all it was all going to, to Kai's family. Okay. Jessica, Caroline, and so forth. P. 
Peter is having a baby. Peter and Chelsea, they're having a baby. But they already the have kids. Like, this, this is more. not some, like, I don't know. It's like when you have a baby shower for your third kid. It's like you've already got everything you need. See, I don't, I don't think we can do it for them because their baby is due at the end of September. And, and that's why you're not booking your flight to Morgantown after our audience suggested it because you're afraid <laughs> K-State is going to kick your asses. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll we'll talk about that. We could I mean, we could do some kind of a we could do some sort of a bankroll challenge on the show, and maybe the money gets donated to a charity. I, I I'd be fine with that as long as it's not like. Why don't you just join my college football pool so we don't actually have to like try to keep track? And mm -hmm. if I beat you, we have a side bet for right. but what you, whatever what you, you want. What do you mean try to keep track? We had two producers. That's their job to take care of all that shit. You know, we like once we hit once we hit stop on the recording, I'm done with the show. I don't do anything. John and Louie, they do all that stuff. I don't do a thing. Neither do you. You don't do anything. Well, that's rude. At least I retweet the show. I don't even see you never even comment on X. I, I got to. I don't football, ever see you post the show on Instagram. I'm, once football starts, I'll be better on social media. I haven't been good lately. I, I know. I know. I, I'll be better. Trust me. I'll be better. All What's right. What's the other question? We're running out of time. At my face when on IG says, can you two make the picks easier to follow by posting at the end? Okay. So here's what we've got. <laughs> I, but I think that's the producer's job. Can't they just make a graphic? I've never seen I just show. made him a graphic. But can't, like, when, when, we're, when we're talking on the show, are there graphics that show what we're saying? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, so then they can do that. That's their job. Or they, these people can just watch the show instead of just wanting to see what the plays right. are on social media from a 45-second clipped-out portion of you know the show. That, that was unfair to, to John and Louie, and that question's unfair to John and Louie because they, they do a really good job yeah. of clipping stuff. They're really good at that stuff. They're, that, that's one of their strengths, I think. They, and what are got, their weaknesses? Oh, they've got so many weaknesses. <laughs> they got they, – I, I don't even have – we only, this is a short show. I can't go through all their, their shortcomings, but they're really good at clipping out little funny things that Kelly said or like dumb things or times where I was Or dumb rude, things that Kelly said. Or like when I was, if I was rude about something, which is most like every week, right? Like every day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you guys take this out of the show so I don't dox somebody? Yeah. yeah. I know. Get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we're going to do a show. Thursday the 15th here yes. at the Westgate. Is that correct? I think at 2 o'clock, right? 1 o'clock? I thought we one said 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Oh, my calendar's not in front of me. Relax. I'm relaxed. Actually, that's a lie. It's right here. <laughs> this is my Vegas calendar. This is my other calendar. I've got travel calendar and regular calendar. If you well, let me tell you one thing I don't have any sharp picks for. I don't have any sharp picks for Del Mar. We're going to go out there. We'll be there tomorrow. We'll be there Friday. We'll be there Saturday. We are going to be drinking in the sun. We're going to be losing every race. All we do is just lose. Why? Just lose, lose, because we don't know what the hell we're doing. We're idiots. So why don't you ask somebody who does know what they're doing? Like I could text like Sean Alvarez and be like, hey, do you like anything at Del Mar? At least then you could have like yeah. an informed opinion before you just go up there and start throwing out random horses to bet. Well, I do. I usually do text the bear, the great Chris Felipe. Oh, well, there they you go. He'll give me his stuff. Maybe, I'll, you know, I'll send a message to Sean. Because the way we do it now, it's just like, I mean, we're you know, we're drunk. We're not drunk. It's too early in the day, but we're drinking. No, you're definitely drunk. No, we're not. We're not. Because you're we're, as drunk as when Ariel and I tried to FaceTime you from Italy. That was at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, you mean you were drunk? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're, you it's just down. like it's like that all day buzz. You just yeah, yeah, yeah. stay. And we're playing, we're playing Delmar Country Club on Friday. Ooh! Yeah. Oh yeah. Who got you in there? I got some. I got some juice. I got, oh yeah, I got, you got some connections. I got some connects, so it'll be I'm fun. And then I want you to have fun in Denver. Safe travels, man, and I'll see you next Thursday.